Rear axle alignment, tramming. After the axle error distance is established on the first axle, it's time to calculate the tram error in the second axle. To obtain a tram error measurement, begin on the driver's side of the vehicle. Unlock the telescoping tube latch that allows the tram bar to freely extend or retract and place both pointers into the center hubs of both wheels. While keeping the pointers in place, lock the telescoping tube latch. Now unlock the latch that allows the scale to move freely. Set it to zero and relock it. At this point, go to the other side of the vehicle. Place the left pointer into the rear hub center and extend or retract the tube until the right pointer fits into the opposite hub center and lock the telescoping tube latch. Look at the measurement in the scale window. This is the value you will enter into the tram error box on the tram alignment screen. If the tram measurement is to the left of zero on the tram scale, enter it as a negative number. If it is to the right of zero, enter it as a positive number. When the number is entered, the adjacent axle error box to the right will automatically display the distance the trammed axle must be adjusted to bring the axle into alignment. In this case, the axle needs to be moved 3 sixteenths of an inch to bring it into alignment. To learn more about making adjustments to the axle, please enroll in our Beeline Alignment Training Course.